Welcome to a very special edition of A Track Zone Conversation. Matt Miller with you and with me as he is every Tuesday. It's a very special Friday edition of the show. Dr. Brad Tucker is here in Canberra. Brad, uh, welcome. We have a special guest today. Yes, uh, exciting. Uh, someone I've had the pleasure of working with uh, over the past year or two uh, and uh, someone who's coming up to Australia soon. It is absolutely awesome and it is a very special Trek Zone. Welcome to Liz Landau from NASA. Liz, thanks for having a Trek Zone conversation today. It's so great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Now tell us a little bit about uh, what you do at NASA. Sure. So. Um Normally, I'm at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and I am the senior storyteller. And that means that I get to work with all different kinds of space missions and science programs across NASA to tell really engaging stories for the public um, in terms of feature stories for NASA websites, in terms of podcasting, in terms of video. Um, so I get to work across a lot of different platforms. And actually right now at the moment, I'm on what we call a detail, which is a remote assignment at NASA headquarters in Washington, DC. Um, and I've been here for six months, uh, learning the ropes, learning how the agency works at the highest levels. and. Uh, doing a lot of astrophysics communications and public affairs um, so it's been really exciting that is really cool and brad uh, how did you get to meet liz so uh liz was putting together a bunch of uh stuff on the kepler space telescope which uh, i did a lot of work on um and you know one of the cool things that liz and, and, and her team did was they created like essentially uh, it's one of my favorite things still the life of a star and so they took a whole bunch of different you know, real science discoveries, a lot from the Kepler mission uh, about, you know, how stars and planets form, how they live their lives. And what my area was, was how they die. And so by, you know, really putting, because some of the science that we're doing is, is, is fairly detailed and abstract, but w when presented well, has a, a great story, especially great visual behind it. So they put some amazing graphics and animations together and interweaved all of these seg segmented pieces of research into really what it is what we're trying to do, and that is the life of a star. It's it's just fascinating stuff, as uh, you know, to see how it all comes together and and to meet the people that that work on all of this stuff because there are real humans out there on the internet and and in podcasts uh, learning all of this stuff. Uh, Liz, what's been a highlight for you uh, as a storyteller? Yeah, actually, I mean, the project that Brad just highlighted, the life and death of a planetary system, uh, which is also the life of and death of a star, really, um, that's been a real joy to work on. Um, also, since I've come to NASA headquarters, I've been working with Jim Green, our chief scientist, on a podcast called Gravity Assist, uh, which is in its third season, and the season is all about the moon. In the last six months, I've a whole lot about the moon. Uh, NASA is going forward to the moon and on to Mars, uh, and I'm really excited about the program in development for that. And I guess that's going to be the next exciting thing for you uh, is NASA's return to the moon. Uh, as, as a storyteller, are you already sort of thinking of ways of uh, creating content uh, for podcasting and the website and, and stuff like that? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we're really just getting started. Uh, we have this whole program of that will take us back to the moon and uh, well, actually we like to say forward to the moon. Uh, the first milestone that's coming up uh, is a test flight of the space launch system rocket and Orion spacecraft as an integrated system. Um, that could happen as soon as this year. Um, and then in about a couple of years uh, will be the second Artemis mission, which would be the first flight of a crew to the moon. And, the um, and by 2024, uh, we're aiming to send uh, the first crew to the lunar surface, uh, the first crew that is since the Apollo era. That's sort of the, the timeline and the framework that I'll be working with as a storyteller here at NASA. Um, and yeah, we're just really getting started right now, um, you know, in terms of, of thinking about how to get the public excited. I think one of the cool, exciting things, uh, like I think about, you know, all, all going back to the moon or forward to the moon is that like I look forward to guess, all the the ways and data the public's gonna be able to engage with it. Like you know, you imagine you know everyone was tied to their TV sets fifty years ago, almost the day uh, to watch it. But now, you know, you can imagine that there will be so many photos and videos and tweets. Like you know, I could imagine uh, you know 
people are hooked onto all of the images from the space station. Like it's going to be this constant, I think, overload that people are just going to just fall into. Absolutely. I mean, I really can't wait. And I have an incredible uh, cohort of colleagues here at NASA headquarters on the social media side who are thinking about these things right now as well. And uh, I mean, yeah, we, we've never been in digital age and also having humans on the moon before. So it's definitely going to be a, a deluge of, of amazing images and, and video and, and just new insights and information, but also just, yeah, being able to experience. Fantastic, Liz. And I believe that uh, you are coming out to Australia uh, in the weeks ahead. Can you tell us a little bit about your uh, your tour of Australia coming up? Yes, and I'm so excited. And thank you, Brad, for inviting me and for setting me up with these different events, um, I guess partly in honor of the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11, I'm going to be speaking at uh, Moonfest in Canberra, um, as well as uh, several museums in Queensland, uh, I think I'll be in Brisbane and Townsville. I think I'll be speaking in Sydney as well. I've never been to Australia before. I'm so over the moon how uh-huh. about this trip. I'll be, uh, you know, representing myself, but, uh, you know, talking to the public about science communication, uh, also just about the amazing uh, space research that's happening. Fantastic. Well, Liz, looking forward to uh, you coming out to Australia for your very first time uh, and looking forward to meeting you in person as well. We're going to catch up when you're here in Brizzy uh, and we're going to talk a little bit more about NASA's work uh, on the missions ahead. Uh, And Brad, I think you're coming out to Brisbane at some point uh, this century, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late August as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, Fantastic. Well, it is an exciting time ahead uh, for humanity, for science, for missions to the moon, for uh, NASA storytelling. Liz, thanks so much for having a Trexone conversation today. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Get uncut versions of today's show by becoming a Trexone member right now. Membership is getting even better as we roll past the middle of 2019. You can get uncut episodes plus exclusive behind the scenes info and access to premier apps of the show ahead of the world jump over to patreon.com slash org au we're on facebook with the wrap up and twitter with a live stream of events plus instagram with stories to tell and trek episodes to relive and of course here on youtube and your favorite podcast platform subscribe like follow all that great stuff leave comments let's have a chat oh, and don't forget to give this app a thumbs up a huge thanks uh, to liz from nasa for her time today looking forward to catching up with her uh, when she comes out to Australia. And as always, a big thanks to Brad. We'll catch him again on Tuesday with the regular Talk and Science show. Uh, He's doing the social media thing. You can find him on Facebook, Dr. Brad Tucker, and Twitter at BTucker22. Or indeed, next week, right here on Australia's unofficial home of Star Trek, Trek Zone, with just 27 days to go until our Vegas or bust tour begins, including the awesome Star Trek Las Vegas convention. 